All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a video for the people uh, in the IE, IEEE club at UNF that wanted to work with Baxter on campus. And this is a website link to a simulation environment done by uh, Rethink Robotics. And if you scroll through here, it'll give you all of your instructions to get your environment together. And for clarity, a lot of the documentation that I found for Baxter all required the Indigo framework, but um, this simulation environment also allows for kinetic. So I don't know if uh, that is as transversible to work with the different environments, but I, you know, it's really hard to find documentation on this sort of thing. But my, the focus for this video is to actually log into ROS and show you guys this environment. And essentially, I just opened up the directory. And then from the directory, we're starting up our Bacter simulation. And with the simulation in mind, we're going to go ahead and tap into our gazebo environment that is simulating our robot. And this, this scrolls through and all this nasty display. Um, <laughs> we'll get to load up gazebo, and you're welcome by this nice little black screen. And this is Baxter. He's here to kind of hang out. And um, so one of the issues that I've been having with the program is that his arms don't always behave. Uh, and if you're working with the robot himself, you know, the last thing you want is for one of his arms to come crashing into the majority of the machine. And I don't think this is necessarily the, a, a perfect environment, but... What I'm gonna do here is just kind of get get a little bit closer look so we can see what this guy's all about. It'll be a little bit slow because I'm running this through a virtual machine. But here, let's and then scroll. Scroll should there we go. This is a nice view. We can see what's going on. Uh, let's go back to this terminal and if you'll look, it's saying the simulator is uh, loaded and started successfully, which might seem a little interesting because if we Pull this and extend it out. It's saying failed to load right arm joint and all of these uh, specifics. And I don't even think it's done. It's supposed to list um, three other states when it's finally in place. But this is just for the simulation environment. So if it is still running, we'll just kind of put it off to the side a little bit. We'll open up a new terminal. And uh, from here, so you know we already have our environment in place. We can go back into our ROS tap back into our Baxter unit. And uh, we have some given commands to work with. Uh, an example is this one. And uh, this is exactly where I'm wanting to go into the bug that I've been seeing with this program. And uh, what this is supposed to do, I'll go ahead and press play. It'll tap into our simulated Baxter and start uh, putting him through a, um, nope, actually we, we got a runtime error. So let's see. Are we started up here? It says we're, we're together. Um, we can actually run some tests in here to see if our Baxter is in place. So actually that's our command S and enabled is false. We have all these kind of pre uh, works in here together, but uh, let's, let's just try it again. We'll tap that wobbler and see if it goes in. Um, yeah, moving to neutral pose. So we can tap back in here and he's getting his arms together. Uh, everything seems to be going fine, and whoa, we got a nice little dance going on. But now, now I'll hit you with the bug, uh, as if it isn't temperamental enough just to work with this environment. Because sometimes you'll just hit something, and you know, like right here, running this wobbler test just ate itself. But running it this time seemed to initialize fine. Um, but when I press Control C and we back out. Says exiting neutral pose, and we'll see exactly just the kind of trouble that has come in. So this arm gets to its neutral pose, and it stops just fine. But then our right arm just goes through this little bit of a failure state. And, um, you know, I've seen this arm fly up and smack, and essentially like go through the center of his body as well as this. Um, you know, like in this environment, they're, they don't have colliders on these, so they can just actually overlap. But uh, you know, the last thing you'd want is this 45-pound arm to just come crashing into your nice little face <laughs> um, or you know, whatever you describe that. But uh, when we typed our qualifier right here to essentially see the state of the robot, it's saying that it's enabled as false. Okay, 
So even though we shouldn't be able to interact with the robot, we were still able to run this program, Wobbler, that would let me interact with it. And, um, you know, essentially you'd, you'd see the issues with his arms. Let me kind of walk you through the, the better way to um, start this environment. So uh, actually, well, I have this in place. If we just type H as the tagline here, we'll see a little bit of these options. And if you notice E right next to this, it says for enable. So when we go back into this and it says S that the robot was actually disabled, let's actually change that. Let's go into E. Robot is now enabled as of this timestamp. And then once we go into our wobbler again, uh, you can see that uh, we're still kind of timing out. So it's a little bit finicky. Um, and let's just kind of go back in with S and see what is going on with our environment. It says enabled is set to true. Stopped is set to false. Um, so let's just clarify that again. We are having our robot enabled. We'll go into Pi. And uh, now it is actually connecting. And sorry that it is being a little bit disturbing, but you'll probably have to work with the environment in just a, a, a finicky state as I am. But now... You know, uh, Baxter's in place and he's doing his hand wobbles and it's it's <laughs> nice to see him stretching. Um, but if we go into control C and now cancel out, you can see that he's moving to his neutral pose and he'll actually lock into place the chaw and now we're we're still tied into the environment as opposed to where it actually crashed out a little bit before. And all that is essentially to tell you is that if you start up your environment and you enable Baxter, you won't run into these issues. So let me real fast uh, tear all of this stuff down and we'll, uh, I guess, illustrate that rather than just, you know, you take my word for it. And this is, this is <laughs> uh, intimidating. Uh, let's go ahead and close all that together. We'll go back in here to mount our directory, connect to Baxter. We'll paste in our uh, gazebo environment launch conditions, parameters, and uh, just let this do its thing. Start up Baxter and <laughs> now I have a, another chance to test navigating this environment. So let me grab this, spin this way. Oh, I was going the wrong way. So let's spin this way. There we go. Um, that's that's actually probably the best that I've done at this so far. Just uh, two movements are good. Now we're lined up. We'll use our scroll wheel just to get a closer look at our dude. Fantastic. Um, oh, I'll try to center it a little bit better for you. Okay. And said it started up fine, but uh, you know this terminal was only really needed to start up Gazebo. So now that it's doing its thing, we'll go to our new terminal. We'll log into ROS, go into our simulation environment. Then from here, um, we'll test, see exactly the robot state. So enabled is false. We'll go ahead and change that over. Go to properly enabled. We're in place. Last time we had to do it twice. Uh, so, you know, maybe a little bit of redundancy is good for measure. But uh, from here, we'll run our wobbler. It'll all initialize, and we'll see our dude kind of go into town. You know, oh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking we could probably get a little bit more of an 80s-inspired dance here, but <laughs> this will be okay for now. Uh, but as you'll see, um, this, is a, this script is just run through a Python program that is looping through some particular movements to these arms, and they are 7 degrees of freedom. You have your main rotation right here while it's on a servo that'll rotate this will spin right here it'll rotate on the you know i guess x-axis and here uh well you know the, the specifics can all be laid out later but as soon as we end out of this program move things to their new neutral pose we'll have baxter get realigned and um now we don't go through all of the arm failure and fun that uh I experienced earlier. Uh, you know, I, I wrangled with this program for probably about 12 hours trying to figure 
out exactly what's going on. You know, there aren't necessarily the best communities to get answers for these sort of things. So I uh, figured I'd let you learn from my um, torture. But uh, yeah, uh, there is a gazebo environment out there for the simulation for Baxter. So you can test things up yourself. So you can find the information for it at the Baxter Research Lab page. And it's just over at Rethink Robotics. Uh, aside from that, if y'all do end up having any other questions, feel free to hit me up. But uh, we'll be meeting on Friday, so all good. See you guys then. You try to have a good one until. Goodbye.